Hello, I'm Dr. Georges Benjamin, the Executive Director at the American Public Health Association, and I'm here today with my good friend, Dr. Howard Koh, the Assistant Secretary of Health for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, um, to talk about the leading health indicators for Healthy People 2020. Dr. Koh, how are you doing today? Doing great, Georges. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Well, you know, the leading health indicator is a part of Healthy People 2020, um, and, you know, there are many people that don't know what they are. Um, can you tell us a little bit about them? Sure. So we're very proud of Healthy People 2020. I like to say that we need 2020 vision for a healthier future. And we've had healthy people for the last number of decades putting out a vision for a healthier country and putting out goals and targets that are pretty comprehensive. Right now, Healthy People has some 42 topic areas and over 1,200 objectives. So it's very, very comprehensive. And people wanted a more focused area of high priority topics that could really make a difference for the public's health. So starting in 2010, we started putting out leading health indicators and these are high priority areas. And if we act aggressively as a nation in those areas, we can really make a difference. So that's what the leading health indicators are all about. And uh, we're very proud how it's motivated action around the country. Well, that's great. You know, obviously trying to focus these things on just these um, 12 indicators I think is important. Can you tell us a little bit more about them specifically? So I know that one is, for example, is access to care. So access to care is a huge topic right now in the era of health reform and we are living history through the Affordable Care Act and we're trying to enroll millions of previously uninsured people, so that's very important. We're stressing clinical preventive services, of course. Uh, we have some traditional areas like tobacco and obesity that we've been tracking for a long time. And then a new theme for the leading health indicators is the social determinants of health. And that's really the future of public health action. Uh, I like to say that health is much more than what happens to you in a doctor's office. It's where people live, labor, learn, play, and pray. So if you want to keep people healthier, you need, in addition to good direct care, mm -hmm. healthy homes, healthy workplaces, healthy schools, uh, good recreational areas. And so we need that broad health and all policies approach, and that's what we're trying to promote with the leading health indicators as well. Well, I remember, you know, you actually came to APHA in 2011, you may remember that, right. and actually released them at our annual meeting. Um, so let's talk about some more examples of how, how one can use those, those um, leading health indicators. Well, what we're very proud of is the indicators uh, give these high priority uh, areas a, a special focus. They can be used at a national level to look at the data and then to align efforts and drive action. But we're also very proud that we can use it at the state level and then most importantly at the local level. So states like Wisconsin have set up Healthiest People 2020 efforts. We're very proud of that. Uh, we have efforts in certain cities like uh, Philadelphia uh, that's using the social determinants approach in terms of greening public places and showing associated drops in violence. Uh, and we have a new webinar series called Who's Leading the Leading Health Indicators where we try to feature community heroes, uh, people who have embraced the leading health indicators and really make healthy people and prevention come alive. So we're very proud of that. Well, let's talk about those webinars. Um, do they cost anything? Webinars are free. Uh, we have them on a regular basis. Um, we have well over a thousand people each month on those webinars and it really crosses throughout the country in terms of its broad appeal and interest, so we're very proud of that. We try to go through each topic area at a time. Uh, we also have a monthly bulletin that reaches over 30,000 people a month. So in these ways, we try to keep healthy people uh, alive and vibrant and really aligning action from coast to coast. Well, I was going to ask you about that. Obviously, they can go to um, um, the HHS website, I assume, and find all this information on your website. We're very proud that for Healthy People 2020, we've now moved very aggressively onto the web. Uh, healthypeople.gov is a very vibrant, interactive website. You can get data there that's relevant to uh, your area of interest, and oftentimes at, at, at the state level and local level as well. Uh, we have e-learning courses. We have summaries of evidence-based effective interventions at the community level that makes social determinants approaches come alive. So this is a really vibrant tool and one that really uh, captures the whole public health community. Thank you very much for your incredible work on this um, leading health indicators. And I think this is absolutely going to help us become the healthiest nation. Georgia, so you and APHA have been tremendous. So thank you so much for your leadership. Thank you.